I got a confession to make. Whenever I post a video of doing a pull in the NB, I always get compliments on how good the car sounds. And that's primarily because I stuff a microphone in the engine bay, and it makes the thing sound like it's got ITBs on it. But the reason I put it there is to keep the mic as far away from the stock muffler as possible, because no one wants to hear that old rusty thing. But thanks to a special delivery I just got from the UK, that's all about to change. Now I'm always trying to find parts for the Miatas that are kind of unique or less known about, but still have the potential to be high quality, which is why I decided to buy an M2 Motorsport exhaust system from my friends at Boffy Racing. Now this exhaust is pretty popular over in the UK, but I don't know if I've ever seen one here in the US, and if it's a good system, there's no reason for that. So today I'll be installing this exhaust on the NB and also driving it around and doing some sound tests against the stock exhaust, and I'll let you know how it is. Now I got the M2 muffler and resonated midpipe, and I'll be pairing those parts with the racing beat header that the car already has on it. But before I get to the install, let's crack into this box and see how the parts look. The M2 Motorsport exhaust is going to be a bit of an experiment for me since I've never heard one in person, but just looking at the muffler design and the dual resonated midpipe, I think it will be perfectly suitable for what I want, which is a free flowing exhaust that I can still cruise on the freeway without feeling like my brain is inside of a sub enclosure. And no hate to the ISR exhaust, plenty of people love it and I didn't have any problems with it, I just really didn't enjoy daily driving with it. And that's why I put the stock exhaust back in place while I search for something better. The M2 also includes a removable silencer, which I'll be sound testing today, and of course, on my next dyno day, I'll do a back-to-back -back test to see if this thing robs any power. Obviously, if you were to leave this thing in place, it would need a black paint job for the street cred. I was heavily considering a Roadster Sport 4 as well, but just looking at the cost of the mufflers, the M2 unit is about $200 cheaper, and that includes shipping, so I think this will be a great middle ground. Speaking of shipping, I know a lot of people probably don't like to order overseas because they're afraid it's going to take forever or something, but I got the system in about four or five days from Boffy Racing, and I have those guys linked down below in the description if you want to check them out. They're one of, if not the biggest, MX-5 parts suppliers and tuning shops in the UK, and from my past couple orders, the customer service experience has also been really great. Anyways, on to the install. Installing an exhaust is one of the easiest modifications you can make to your Miata. But please keep in mind that I also live in Southern California, so rust is essentially non-existent here. If you live in more harsh climates, you'll want to use a penetrating oil to soak your nuts. Or, well, that didn't come out how I wanted it to. Anyways, regardless of the year of your Miata, you'll likely have some type of subframe bracing to remove, so get that out of the way first. This way you can drop the entire exhaust as one unit, and you'll have a few less rusty bolts to worry about. Next up, remove the two nuts that hold the header to the rest of the exhaust system. At this point, the hangers are the last thing holding up the exhaust. Now I am dropping this exhaust by myself, which is totally doable, but as you release each rubber hanger, keep in mind that the stock exhaust is around 40 pounds, so try not to let it fall on your head. You can also use a floor jack to hold the muffler up as well, but after all these years of bench pressing transmissions into place, the muffler really didn't give me much grief. Before I install the new system, let's see if there are any weight savings to be had. The stock exhaust weighed in at a hefty 37.6 pounds, and it was probably heavier before the inside of the muffler got rusted out and turned itself into a maraca. Anyways, the M2 system drops that by about 8.6 pounds, coming in at 29 pounds flat. And if my calculations are correct, that's a power to weight gain equal to approximately half a horsepower. You know, Miata things. To get the exhaust into the car, first I hung the midpipe and then the muffler. Those will just chill up there on the hangers while you get some bolts into place. The exhaust came with these sealing rings, which I love because nothing annoys me more than exhaust leaks. They sit inside the flange and then when you tighten the bolts down, they get crushed for a perfect seal. They also include these standard gaskets in case the exhaust piece you're bolting up to isn't compatible with the ceiling rings. Next up, I put all of the bolts in the exhaust system, but I left them slightly loose so I could make sure everything was lined up before tightening them. If you fully tighten some of the bolts, you might have to force other exhaust pieces into position, which not only makes the install more difficult, but it 
it can put extra stress on parts which can lead to premature cracking later. And of course immediately after the last bolt was tight I had to give it a test fire. Alright, so first impressions, just on firing it up and giving it a quick little rev, it's like a hundred times quieter than the ISR, which is great. I'm sure it's going to be louder than stock once I get it out and, you know, start ripping it, but on that initial fire up from inside the car, it sounds like a stock exhaust. It'll make a little noise once we get it out on the road, but I'll show you guys those sound clips in just a minute. Right now I'm going to get the bracing buttoned all back up and then take the car out and rip it. With all of the bracing back in place, it looks like the clearance is great, so let's get on with some sound tests. Now please keep in mind that it's very difficult to portray the volume of an exhaust through a video due to the nature of how audio is recorded and edited, so this is mostly to demonstrate the different tones, and I'll do my best to describe the experience as well. Let's begin with startup and revs. Experiencing that in real life, the M2 exhaust with the silencer is just a tiny bit louder than stock at startup and idle, and then when you rev the engine, you can definitely tell that it's got an aftermarket exhaust installed. And anytime you're using a silencer like that, it's always going to have a bit of that pitter patter sound. It's just kind of the nature of air being forced through a smaller opening. Now with the exhaust uncorked, it's certainly louder at idle, but still reasonably quiet in my opinion. Now let's move on to some epic first gear launches while hoping nobody steals my camera from the side of the road. some first through third gear pulls to help demonstrate the tone of each configuration under higher load, also featuring me trying to keep up with the Ford Raptor. And just for the heck of it, I adjusted the cam gears to have a ton of overlap to simulate how the car would sound if it had some big beefy cams. I hope someone out there appreciated that ghost cam action because I had to sit on my laptop for about 20 minutes to actually tune in a stable lopey idle. Last, but certainly not least, the launch control test. So as of 
of recording this voiceover, I've had the exhaust installed for about a week, and I'd say it's pretty much exactly what I was looking for. It's got a nice deep tone at idle, it gets a little rowdy at full throttle but without being too raspy, and even sitting inside the car you can hear those nice, crisp, satisfying downshifts. Cruising along the highway, it's still relatively tame, plus you can always keep that silencer in your garage in case you plan on taking a long road trip. If you have any specific questions about the M2 Motorsport exhaust, or if you own one yourself and you want to tell other people about your experience, feel free to drop a comment down below. And don't forget to check out my link in the description to Boffy Racing if you'd like to get one for yourself. All right guys, well that is my install and review of the M2 Motorsport exhaust system for the NB Miata. I am much happier with the car now as far as sound and especially volume level. Maybe I'm just getting old, I don't know, but the car is going to be much nicer to cruise this way and it's still a nice high flow exhaust system and I think it's going to make great power. So the NB is one step closer to being on the dyno. I'm super pumped that I'm actually making some progress here. Don't forget to smash that like button if you did enjoy this video and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.